Welcome back to Chastastic Gaming, I'm Chastastic and today we're back to the Stanley Parable and there has been no burning of orphans. I don't understand why the game had given us, had said that, would, would you rather burn orphans? Or help orphans? Why, why was that, why was that something that they had to, whoa, it's a bit of a mess in there. Why would they have to clarify that? So let's go in here. So we've been defying his choices. Um, for a long period of time now. Um, I really don't want to go through that way because I feel like it will end the g game. I think we've already done the damage by coming in here. So, for those of you who, have, who haven't watched the first episode and don't really know anything about this game, I'm new to this game. This is all, everything I'm doing, I'm doing for the first time. Now, every time the narrator will give me choices that uh, Stanley would do. Uh, hence the Stanley Parable, and then I'm just doing the exact opposite, and to quite odd effects. Now, he's told us we were originally came to these two doors, and one, and he said that Stanley enters a door on the left. I've been going in the door at the right, but it doesn't seem to be anything else for me to be, do right now, um, except for going in the the one on the left now. Hopefully, we can ignore his instructions from here. I just keep looking in all the doors just in the off chance there's something I miss. Okay. Is this the meeting room? Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you... My story. You've destroyed my work. Everything Why? is okay. For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? You appear like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? The future was yesterday, tomorrow is you. No. How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. Do not alter without consulting the wet management board. Whoa! Whoa! What's happening? Whoa! You shut the game down on us! Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Wow! What have you done in my office? Whoa! I'm here. I'm still here. Whoa! Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Oh, he hates me. thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. Oh dear. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? Yep, I did, did actually. See? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? Mm -hmm. He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. Well... That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? Not at all. But there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would no. have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Whoa, what's happened there? This behaved exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. Okay. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Okay. Right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, <laughs> he entered the door on his left. The door on the left. So, remember, we have the mind of a child. Let's just completely ignore him. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. Oh. This behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly. So, I think this is going to loop around a couple of times. Let's see what happens from here. Oh, this is so cool! Right, okay, wished. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door Let's see, how much more damage can we do? No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry! Okay. This behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly. Is this going to do the same every single time, or is it going to be one of those things that eventually something like if I do it a certain number of times, I'm going to do so much damage to the game? Stanley came to a set of two open doors. 
because I'm actually quite enjoying like defying him and the, the actual the reactions that I'm getting from him for not doing no. the correct actions. Do that. Quickly, hurry. Oh. Exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly, okay. always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try it one more time. I'm right. going to try and go in the right one more time just to see to if that does anything. I get a feeling that... Oh, sorry, a bit hot in the... I get the feeling that the... The number 13 might be significant. I might have to do this quite a few times, no. but I'm only going to do it this last time. Quickly, hurry. Is behaving exactly as standard. Okay. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story, story first. first. Okay. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two, two doors. doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, let's go in the left. Actually doing what we're told for a change. Oh. Tips to not for not getting fired. Person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay. Let it ball up inside. Take out uh, passive aggressive on co-workers. I know a few people who feel like who act like that. Synergy core values expenditures. Shift global market par uh, par parid. Monetize free play. Oh, he works for an evil company. Okay, broom closet. I think if we we read back there, it says get Chris out of the broom closet, and that's the broom closet there. Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Uh, I have nothing that I can do to defy him in this one. Do, do, do. Can I defy him again? Oh, why is this so different? Do, 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 do. Why does it look so different up here? Oh, look, his actions. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely Why is that a panda with a gun at his head? Answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Okay, Night Shark. had been trained never to speak up. But now, he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath, and then spoke the code. Um, I don't really want to, I want to kind of ignore him. Okay, let's speak it. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Uh. Right shark, one, one, five. We're going to break the game because we're a mute and uh, a mute a mute protagonist. Is that what's going to happen here, isn't it? I'm sorry. Is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Yeah, there's no Please option to talk. The code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. No, it's not. Okay, there's no option to do this. We're just going to okay, ding him. Fine, you're not going to do it. But you know what? Hmm. It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He no. knows what it means to take a story seriously. Yep. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you I come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. I came here to be the boss and sit in the boss's chair. Whoa. Wow. Well. Oh, so now we're seeing how Stanley would have done it. Stanley, please. I, I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. The end? Are you listening 
Mm -hmm. Whoa! What does it mean? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever hmm. choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You can't be wrong here. We can work together. I accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Is this because he doesn't exist uh, without the story? Is that what it is? This is more important than you ever know. I, need this. I don't know how I feel. Like I don't know what I think about this. I don't know what I've taken away from this. Is this really the end, though? I don't. I don't know. I don't know if this actually would be the end, or whether this is just a. Uh... Can anyone really tell you that your choices are correct or incorrect? There's just simply choices that um, there's there's simply choices that you make where your life appears altogether. But if you make other life choices, um, it appears that the if you make other choices, it appears that your life falls apart around you. Oh, it's not over yet. Oh, are we back at the beginning, or are we really? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wow. Do we... Do we do this all over again? Um... Does the same thing happen if I ignore him? Let's... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors... Let's comply. The door on his left. Let's comply. See what happens if we comply. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Do unbelievable work with no expe uh, expectation of promotion. So that's the promote. Ah. Oh. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, let's just go downstairs. Just ah, uh, let's go upstairs. Let's just comply 100% with what we're told to do. We will comply. Whoa, so different in here. Stepping into his manager's office, wow. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, I was hoping to play Stanley the piano there. Stanley in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number to... Eight, four, five. Two. But of course, eight. Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code Whoa. by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Whoa. Oh my god. Some conspiracy. Some conspiracy shit on the go. But we will find out what is in there on the next episode. But I've been Chaz Tastic of Chaz Tastic Gaming, and you have a fantastic day. Bye.